Hello everybody and welcome to an exercise video by Bildung Interaktiv. Now these exercises are on the question whether you have to put a gerund or an infinitive into a sentence and the level of the exercises is medium. How to do the exercises? Now those who've already done our first set of exercises in the first video, they know that everybody must first of all shape up on their grammar. You can do this exercise only once for the first time, so please go to our grammar tutorial on the gerund infinitive question. It's here on YouTube. Now, when you come back, please have pen and paper ready, read and listen to the instructions on each page. Then you hit the pause button, stop the video and do the exercise that you see before you. And only then you continue the video and correct the exercise before you actually move on to the next page. Now this is what it looks like. Now on this page you have two sentences and I want you to make one sentence out of the two, use a gerund and I want you to add the prepositions and also sometimes a conjunction where it is necessary. So please stop the video now and do your exercise. And here is your correction. I didn't succeed in getting a job in New York. And the next one, we were surprised at not having a full house tonight. Instead of going to the disco, Tom went to a birthday party. Now instead of is a conjunction here because you can also turn this around. Tom went to a birthday party instead of going to the disco. So you see quite well it is actually a conjunction that I used here. And the last one is, I loved feeling like flying. You can actually stop the video again now and have a look at what you have written down. And we move on to the next page. Same thing again, make one sentence out of each of the two, use a gerund and please add prepositions where necessary. So stop the video now and start your exercise. And here we go. The teacher insisted on the pupils learning the poem by heart. Insist on, on is your preposition here. The pupils is actually the new subject. It belongs to the gerund, learning the poem by heart. I didn't mind mom telling them all the stories about me. Same thing again, mom is a new subject and it belongs to the gerund. I remembered having seen that man somewhere before. Having seen actually here is a gerund, a gerund which is put in in the past. And the last one is I was afraid of having to dance or I was afraid of dancing. I guess both would be correct here in front of all the people. All right, let's move on now. And this, uh, there's a gap in each of the sentences. Sometimes there's actually two gaps. And I want you now to make a decision whether you have to put in an infinitive or a gerund. So stop the video, please, and do your exercise. And here are the correct answers. I'd love to sail around the world. You need the infinitive here because of the little wood, which is like, I'd love to sail. Of course, it's perfectly all right to say, I love sailing, but with the wood, it's, I'd love to sail around the world. I will never forget meeting you for the first time. Uh, you need the gerund here because only with the gerund, it makes sense. I'll never forget to meet you for the first time. That might be grammatically correct, but it just doesn't make sense. There's no meaning. The next one is, he promised to stop smoking. Then he looked up and went on writing. And you mustn't forget to tell Jack about the meeting. Okay, you may hit the pause button now and have a look at what you've written down and then continue with the next exercise. Here we go, same thing again, infinitive or gerund, please stop the video now. Okay, and this is what you should have written down. After four hours on the road, he stopped to have a drink. Of course, you can say he stopped having a drink, but this means that for the past four hours, like he's been drinking and this doesn't make sense. So please, he stopped to have a drink. 
I still remember calling you that evening. I didn't mean to hurt you. Going by car is nicer than walking, and I think it's better to take the bus now. All right. So here we go again, infinitive or gerund, and please don't forget to put in prepositions where you think it's necessary. Okay, what have we got here? I'm fed up with looking for that hotel. Preposition to be fed up with and looking gerund. Some adults keep telling kids what to do, and they carry on talking to them as if they were little kids. And Nate deserved winning the prize, or Nate deserved to win the prize. I would say the the meaning between those two is so small that the difference actually is so small that I would, as a teacher, accept both here. He deserved to win, or he deserved winning the prize for writing that amazing short story about traveling through Peru. You've got prepositions for writing about traveling. I don't understand, and now it's complicated. Him not being given the award. Now, first of all, you have the new subject here, him, which is followed by a gerund being given, which is in the passive. I don't understand him not being given that award. So, thank you for joining. This was it for the second set of exercises on the infinitive and gerund problematic. There's a third one. There's also lots of more videos and exercises. Please check up our YouTube channel or go to our homepage at www.bildunginteraktiv.de.